I'm sure most of you are familiar with metalsucks.net. It's a heavy metal news website. Quite a few of their articles have a social justice warrior slant to them. This is a site in which those to whom they take offense are called out. In our current social climate, self-righteous white people love calling out other white people in an attempt to impress others, to display how morally superior they think they are. We call this virtue signaling. They seem to take a bizarre joy by being offended on behalf of others. So I sent the video of the Al Rosa Villa demolition to a handful of news uh, websites, including Metal Sucks. Now, in the description of the video, I made a joke about how the land on which the Al Rosa was demolished was to be turned into affordable housing units, and how Affordable was a code word for high crime. The response to this comment by a guy who posts under the name as Vince Nielstein was, Wow, racist and classist much? Why would Vince Nielstein imply that this is a racist comment? Wouldn't Vince Nielstein be racist for implying that people who would need affordable housing must be of a certain race or races? Affordable housing has been a media code word for high crime housing for a while. Uh, the media often uses code words uh, to be more politically correct, especially around the subject of race. Here are some examples. Urban or inner city when used to describe people. Now what does this really mean? Uh, whenever there's an incidence of large scale mob violence, the media will usually, but not always, use code words like Youths, teens, young people. You ever notice what all these teens, youths, young people all have in common? Uh, the words struggle, scuffle, altercation, confrontation. Are used, uh, these words are used by the media when a bad guy attacks somebody. It implies that the fault is somewhat mutual and the victim is at least somewhat to blame. And of course, peaceful protest. All right, we, we all know what this means, right? We've all, all, all seen the videos. All right, here's a funny story. In March of 2020, I had my job canceled just like everyone else. I applied for the U.S. Census. One of the questions that I was asked by the recruiter was, are you okay with going to diverse neighborhoods? The recruiter said that all census applicants were asked the same questions. Now, what do you think he really meant by this? My response was, yes, I have no problem going to high crime areas. Diverse doesn't necessarily mean high crime. It could also mean non-white. Um, I read an article a while back in which a demographer described a city in South Texas that was comprised entirely of Mexicans or Mexican-Americans, that it was very diverse. Well, if a town is comprised entirely of one ethnic group, then it's not diverse at all, right? Anyhow, people like Vince Nielstein tend not to practice what they preach. These people call out those they deem morally inferior, but I'm sure if Vince Neil uh, Stein was um, in an elevator with a black guy, he'd probably clutch his purse and shrink into a corner. You know what? I, I probably shouldn't be assuming Vince Nielstein's gender. Well, tell me what you think.